Let's see how to create an API over a Kafka topic. We have one here in Confluent. It's running over half a million messages behind. First thing we do is we have the data source, select Kafka as a source. We're going to use some existing credentials and click continue. Now we can choose the topic we want to work with, enter the group ID, and we'll choose to ingest all messages in the topic. First thing is we'll see a preview. We're getting the value of the message in JSON and we can check it out. Next thing, create the data source. This is going to slowly represent the reality of the topic. As you can see, it's already starting to get some stats and to get some data from the topic. This will slowly show in this chart as new events are generated how we're ingesting them. Next step is create a pipe. We'll start by counting the number of records. You can see as I run the query again and again, I get more and more results. Those are uh, events coming in from the topic into our data source. Here are the value of the messages. Now what we're going to do is extract those values of the message in the JSON to a structured columns so that we can work with it in an easier way, just like we would work with any table. We'll call that event structured. From the next node, we can query the previous node and just as if it were a table, here we'll do our aggregation. And we're going to be getting orders and revenues per day, essentially all the events that have are of the type buy and have a price that is not null. If I refresh, the orders are slowly increasing per day because we're getting events from different dates uh, randomly. So in the next, in the last node, what I'm going to do is create uh, what will be our endpoint, and depending on the parameters, I will be getting a different interval. If I run this by default, it's running uh, with no parameters. And you can see it's running the whole pipe over already 1.28 million rows in a few hundred milliseconds. We call this sales and revenues by day, and we can now turn it into an endpoint. This is already an API that we can start using from our applications. If I copy this over to another tab and paste it in, you can see the results here and the values for 30 days. Now I'm going to change one of the parameters, the start date, to just get the November days. And as you'll see, we get from November the 1st. And that's how you can create an endpoint with Tangibird over a Kafka topic. There's a few details still to be worked out to be open to the public, but it's looking better and better every day. Thank you.